and welcome to the show. Joining me today is a man who's done some wonderful things for our community. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Dane Vogel. Now, Dane, a lot of liberals out there... A lot of liberals out there have been saying that corporations like Ultor are part of the problem. That they're destroying America with their attitude of, to hell with the community, the bottom line is all that matters. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. I have some pictures that I would like to show your audience, if you don't mind. Now, what you're seeing here are pictures of Saints Row a few short years ago. Parents, you might want to tell your kids to leave the room. There will be minorities in these photos. Like I was saying, in the past... This district was filled with gangs, hookers, and drugs. Now, Alderman Hughes... A great man who was taken from us far too soon. Alderman Hughes had a vision for Saints Row. He wanted to pull the district from the depths of depravity into a brighter future. Now, we at Ultor could not agree more. That's why we spent considerable resources turning this into this. <laughs> Crack houses to corporate parks, pimps and hoes to cops on patrol. Amazing. Just amazing. I think we all owe Ultor another round of applause. Man, he's a hero. I'm not saying that he's not. I'm saying that a man who ran with a gang... He was undercover. He was in the Saints for a long time. Is it really that hard to believe that people have problems with him being announced chief of police? He's responsible for sending the Saints behind bars. And now three new gangs have taken their place. You telling me you want Johnny Gat back on the street? And the ones you know about the program are the ones who get some money. This footage was taken last night as the Brotherhood went on another looting spree. This time focusing their wrath on the recovering community of Espada. People watched in horror as the crazed individual known as Mero led his men on a violent night of chaos. With no end in sight to the gang epidemic, one has to ask, what are the police doing? Ultor, a brighter future and a better life. Years ago, these serene waters were shaken as Mayor-elect Richard Hughes's yacht was destroyed by a tremendous explosion in what was at the time the second assassination of a major public figure. Dust. Stillwater University, a place of learning or a state-funded opium den. These kids are smoking Loa Dust, a popular designer drug that is sweeping across the city courtesy of a street gang known as the Sons of Somdi. I hit the campus to get some of the students' take on this dangerous epidemic. As a student here, what are your thoughts on the drug problem facing this campus? Oh, I'm not a student here. I just come here for put... It was a warm spring day when Shogo Akuchi and his Ronin announced their presence to Stillwater. One swing was all it took. Now, some misguided people would say that by turning Saints Row into a glass and steel utopia, all you've accomplished was the displacement of low-income families, which, you know, to me, sounds like an added bonus. Well, I don't know about it being a bonus, but it's like my father said, and if you're going to build an ivory tower, you're going to have to kill a few elephants. You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an altar exec, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. Oh, for a dead woman, she sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. They said he wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Yes. That looks like it healed nicely. Be careful, doctor. Your patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say to the judge, you better start thinking of it now. You're wasting your time. Let's get a hold of Troy. Psst. Hey! 
it really you? Do I know you? My brother was in the Saints and he told me all about you. Listen, we gotta get you out of here. Well, I'm sure if we ask nicely. I know a way out. Yeah? Then why are you still here? I heard you were in here and I wanted to bust you out. Getting out of here is a two-man job and no one else will give it a try. You really expect me to trust some guy I don't even know? Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I'm trying to help you. You know what I got the last time I trusted someone? Blown the fuck up. You need me. <laughs> the hell I do? I got the Saints. <laughs> sure you do. What's that supposed to mean? How long do you think you've been out? Man, I don't know, man. Two or three weeks? Look, I know you think you're a badass, but do you even know where you're at? Without me, you'll be wandering around the prison for hours. Even if you manage to hide from the guards that long, and if you actually figure out how to make it outside these walls, you're just gonna find out that you're sitting on a goddamn island. And I'm pretty sure you can't outswim the Coast Guard. You got a boat stashed here? No, but I know where we're gonna steal one. All right, let's get out of here. I've been waiting for an excuse to... I was hoping you would do what? something something. You should have never stepped in my city. We can either try to sneak out through the roof or charge out the front. Your call. Can't believe I'm breaking out of jail with you. Yeah, it's a dream come true. Now let's move. Deadly force, you scum. Oh, hold it. Oh. I really didn't want to do that. Ah. Follow me. I know the way out. Okay, we gotta climb these pipes up to the roof. So, do you remember my brother? Isn't tough guy, wore purple? Sure. So, what are you gonna do when you get out of here? Let's not get shot first, then I'll worry about it. You and me, we going to the top. You get killed. Oh. Oh. What the? Oh. Oh. Respect. When these people gonna get it? This is Saints territory. Time to earn. I think we might pull this off. Glad you have so much faith in your plan. Told you I'd get you out of here. We're not out yet. Well, it sounds like they found the body. We can get to the docks and take a boat off this fucking island.
boat. I'm driving. Man the gun! I'm gonna get us out of here! Take those cops out! Now, Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Ulter got involved, the clothing company. After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Ulter picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere on TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Ulter is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. Here we are. Where can I find the other Saints? <laughs> what other Saints? What you talking about? Without anyone to lead them, the Saints fell apart. Once the Brotherhood, Ronan and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before they got killed. Well, that's fucking great. Look, I know you didn't ask for it, but my advice is to just keep your head down. The cops are looking for you and a lot's changed. I say you just go buy a beer and soak up as much information as you can. Thanks, Carlos. Anytime. Shit, I thought there was gonna be a fight. You and me, we going to the top. 